All right, everybody. So, welcome back to a brand new part, and maybe the last part. I don't really know of Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode two, A Brave New World. So, we're going to continue exactly where we left off. And, um, yeah, Chloe is now in the play called The Tempest, and we're going to try to not, you know, fuck it up, okay? So. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You believe in other words? Oh, oh, that's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Right, let's just go to Rachel. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Uh, I don't know the words. Yea, I have pointed thy tempest. And, uh, forsooth, it was the pointiest tempest I ev ever pointed. The pointiest? Then I'm well assured. The king's own ship lies pierced upon this storm. Well done. Who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried... Um. Cried, hell is here, and all the devils are here, uh, because hell is here. <sighs> Close enough. <laughs> but are they, Ariel? See? We should have read right. the line. I guess this is what I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Um, where do we walk? Uh, I want to play her part. <laughs> uh, let's walk to the rock and sit. Oh, I guess we will sit right here. How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. <sighs> if thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah, I'm tired. Tired of this play bullshit. my eyes what are we supposed to be doing pray use the vantage of that broken ship to prove the safety of the king's good men all right I want to play her part I thought I was looking at the the ship I'm Definitely supposed to do something with this. Oh, Chloe, stand here. Okay. All right. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle in troops. Bravo. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. I did not read the script. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? 
What is't thou canst demand? Liberty. My liberty. Indeed. Oh, I'm guessing, and I guess I'm right. Liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? Say nothing. I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. It's magical. <laughs> Nathan is the one. I pray you. Wish you to be free. Excitement isn't happiness. Excitement will grow old. Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend. For but a little longer, I beseech. This is beautiful, guys. Some beautiful shit. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? I do. Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Was that real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho? Uh oh. Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fed. Drop! On you both, a southwest blow on ye, and blister you all over. I don't like the voice actor that plays Nathan. I like the original voice actor. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho! Would it had been done? Thou didst prevent me. I had peopled else this isle with Caliban. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Where are the shoes? Where should this music be? In the air, or the earth? His mouth isn't even moving. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. 
I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Oh, wow. Do you love me? Oh, heaven, oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. That was beautiful. It feels so awkward with no music because I feel like there's something missing in the sound. But I know it's not. I get the fake audience people. This better not be the end of episode two, because it was pretty uneventful. It was a lot of searching for stuff, and I'm sorry, I just yawned. Sarah, what the hell do you want? First of all, she look, walks like she has a stick up her butt. <laughs> She's walking pretty strong. Wait, where did you come from? The show Total Divas or something? <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> himself <laughs> that dude owes me that's the infamous outfit that she let Max try on I'm sorry. Of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I, I see stars. Like that I cough really. I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know. <coughs> like, seriously. What is going on? After a show. <laughs> is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Um. <laughs> I think I'm just happy. Their voices are very similar. The Sometimes it's hard for me to tell who's talking if the camera's not directly on them. Freaking intense. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging out. All right, that's a little flirt, flirtating. 
Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? <laughs> we can't just... <laughs> Why not? Money. What about money? I thought you were a high rolling criminal now. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it back to Drew instead. It sounded like he needs it more. No shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to say when he finds out. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money from my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Definitely. Yeah. I can. That's hot. <laughs> In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. That's such a dumb way to think about it, but I mean... Fine then, drama that's a, queen. That's Where Chloe. <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm... <laughs> Los Angeles. And that's Why where they're supposed to go, anyway. LA. Perfect. 60 degrees every night. You and me on the Santa Monica Pier. Forging on food truck food. Smoking up. Looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> Damn. You're full of shit. I <laughs> love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like... You're going to kiss eventually. <laughs> Anything could happen. <laughs> Rachel. Stop. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Hmm. I don't know. A kiss, a tattoo, your bracelet. See? In the original game, T Chloe does get a tattoo, and then she does have Rachel bracelet. Remember, she was like, "That's Rachel's bracelet. What the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?" And then also, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go for. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do it. How about, um, oh. Wow, I knew they. I knew. I knew they had to have been 
lovers at one point. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. <laughs> And then it seemed like she was trying to get her flirt on with Max also. Yeah, this is going on a long time. Is this snowing? Oh no, that's the soot from the um fire. Or ashes probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this stuff? I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to, I'm ready. Do you have finished school? Some clothes and stuff for my house. And then we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. So you mean to tell me this amount of time when Rachel goes missing is only a matter of a few days? Cat. Because this is like her second or third day with Rachel. And you mean to tell me after like three or four days, one week with her, let's put it like maybe one week, Chloe becomes infatuated with her and I don't know. Mm, this is a nice house, girl. What shall happen next, everyone? She was mocking her, that's cute. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel? Everywhere I go. Honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. Mm -hmm. I heard sure chicken and I'm all for it, bitch. Quite the appetite. Just leaving. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? I need to wash sure off too, girl. Thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm going to go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. Mm. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. 
Exactly. All right, is Toby gonna go say goodbye to her mom? Or is she gonna go visit Just her mom? Quality time with the Ambers. Um, I heard you were in the Tibbs. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe everyone says the show was awesome. Um, you get medals um for two good deeds today. Drew's okay. Mikey will text you an update in a bit. Oh shit! Tell them both. Um, pull them for them. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. No. <laughs> it's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Why the fuck you cheat? Um... District attorney. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. <laughs> Hello, well. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Tough crowd, huh? All right, gotta go. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. That was very fucking rude. They say all news is local, but damn. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Mm. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. How to clear browser history? Wow. He's so stupid. So, can we speak to him about this now? Something else? Never mind, gotta go. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man. I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Oh, the girl Sarah is on her too. Okay, so let's read it. Okay, so Damon uh, Marek, um, P.O.Y. Person of interest, probably the male, a um, converter lumber mill club. I remember him. He was going off on a dude outside. I think club north of town. Suspected of larceny, extortion, disruption, uh, distribution. I'm sorry. Assault, robbery, murder, known associates. Oh my god, Sarah is one of the known associates. F Francis Bowers. Oh wow. And Sarah, the, the woman that he's messing with, is one of the known associates. That is crazy. I guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Hmm. Let's sit and see what she thinks about. Nothing? So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least. Before she met me. All right, that's enough. I know. Um, what's his name? He's probably like, please get the f away. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but oh, I think that's an original. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. 
All right, so, hey, Mom, I'm here. So improve the crossword puzzle. Um, literal. Solved it. What? It's supposed to be letters, girl. Who's so oh, wine? Can I have a glass of wine? Rose. No, oh, you're cooking her. Something girl. about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Oh, my stomach just messing me a little bit. Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Let's not mess with it at all. Rachel said don't mess Hi, up nothing. Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Um, Rachel. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. No, they act yeah. like robots. Because it still seems <laughs> crazy to me. Setting the table. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. <laughs> Never mind. You're like, can I compute the joke? I don't get it. You're a riot, Chloe. I'm not done talking to you. All right, Chloe, you've set the tape. Yes, Chloe? So, um, the play. Yeah, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Mr. Amber. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. Chloe, don't do it. So... <laughs> Am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. All right, we're going to stop because I don't want her to be like, uh-uh, this bitch that came into my house causing all type of drama talking about my husband cheating on me and all this other. I don't got time for it because, <laughs> yeah. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Where is the cupboard? Glasses. Damn. The embers are mm. fancy as shit. They're sparkling. Emerald. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Aren't we supposed to get plates? But I do not see the cupboard anywhere. Oh, here it is. Sink. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom. Oh, that's enough, Chloe. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Mikey, um, Steph says just, okay. Hey, Chloe, Drew's out of surgery. 
in pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You stuck with me. Plus, you saved our money. We owe you. I wish I could have helped more. Hey, Seth says you were in the play. What? I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. I'm pr I'm happy they consider me a hero, even though I try to rob them. But okay. It's off to the table with you. Wah 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 wah. wah. Where's the TV? It's so quiet. Mom. Chloe, Justin Williams just called me. You were in the place tonight. I would have liked to see that kind of just happen. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It will be nice to see you tonight. You come home. Please, Chloe, I miss you. Oh. All right, Miss Amber. Dinner should be done, right? Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Ugh. Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? He can't make his own drink. I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Yeah, I'll be a damn dear stuck in headlights. Something else? <coughs> What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. <laughs> Chloe... Maybe you can help me understand something. I'll <laughs> give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so <coughs> unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hmm, besides me. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm, another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Hmm. Miss, is dinner taking a really long time? This is all this back and forth is pissing me off. Yes, Chloe? Uh, yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're really the pissing me off. They have like no sense of humor right. and they it. just Can <laughs> you guys relax? Like loosen up, have a drink, you know, have sex, do something. Uh it's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Everything's very extra. I don't see why he can't. Um, did she wipe her back with it? Wipe her ass with it? Yo. Do they have a TV? Oh, they do. Why isn't it on? Yes, Chloe? Oh, my gosh. What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the... It's li cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. 
I think. They don't like that. Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? All right, so dinner time, hopefully. Okay. I can't eat dinner like that. See, my house, well, my family, we would need when we move houses or even my house now. We have a kit, a table in the kitchen, and we got a TV right there. Could we look in a TV while we eat in dinner? And then we have a formal so, dining room. Chloe, so, yeah. are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Um, I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial. What's it called? Vocabulary. <gasps> what about that fire? <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. Now, Chloe always got to say the, the worst the report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It mm -hmm. is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever... You're saying for. all the wrong stuff. Um, calm, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. What? Rachel? Explain. Uh, uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, <laughs> you blow me, Rachel. Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit. Motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. I don't think Chloe should say anything in this moment, but we have no we choice. Saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are. I don't think Chloe should have said anything. You, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of her. Oh? What kind of person is A that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this.
Wow, yeah, it was about to happen. Why All right. can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That's my daughter. That was your mother. <sighs> See, this sounds so weird without any music, anything. But oh, her mother? How sway. How sway. So I'm assuming this is the end of the episode. That is twazy. So we need to find more about Sarah because what? How? Here you go. He gonna want the money from Frank. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Drew. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. I, it's so weird. Like, there's no music on right now, but, um. Mm -hmm. Victoria, girl, you need a new haircut. She was a natural born hater, I swear. This is insane. So. <laughs> You guys, comment down below. What do you? What does he mean by her mom? Why isn't he with the mom? Why does? does it, how come she never knew where was the mom at all these years? You know, how come she never knew that her mom that she thought she had is not her mom? See, I always I looked at. It, I was like, hmm. They don't look alike. None of them look alike. Was the mom in prison? I don't know. This is crazy, everybody. <laughs> the volume is so freaking weird right now. Is there a way I can turn? No, no, I can't. All right. Um, I, she just needs to hurry up, and they just need to bang because she clearly likes them. I think this is Ash coming down, and that is Sarah, I believe, Rachel's mom. What is she back in town for? And if that was the case, if that was her mom, why was he kissing her if he's over if he's remarried? So even if that is her mom, that that can still very much be your mistress. Life is strange before the storm, you guys. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, man. That is crazy. Hey, this was episode two. Brave New World. All right, so let's look at the um this stuff. So, um, eighty one percent of people took the blame for Rachel. Um, sixty two percent empty our pockets for David's request. Sixty seven percent of people stayed with Mikey. Um, you asked Rachel for a kiss. Seventy five percent of people. All right, because of course we were going to do that. Um, ran attacked. Okay, you ran. You were kind to Joyce. You defended Nathan. You told Rachel you were more than just friends. Um, you took the blame for Rachel. Okay. All right. Um, you didn't talk to Elliot about the play. Um, I didn't even know we could do that. Seventy-seven percent of people, <laughs> I guess, did not know we could do that. You agreed to start over with David. Seventy-seven people agreed to that. Seventy percent of people. Um, put the singing man on the dashboard of the truck. 98% of the people didn't play, pay off your debt to Frank. Um, didn't tell stuff that Rachel was single. 86%. You returned Drew's money. Um, 32%. I guess, um, 68%, well, more, majority of people kept the money. Um, you told Samantha to help Nathan, <laughs> to help Nathan, 33%. You confronted Victoria before the play, 38%. I would have done it too. 
check the Victoria before the play. Encourage Victoria before the play. You can encourage her. Wow. Um, you tell Rachel you like to go to Los Angeles. Okay. Majority of people do that. Yeah, I think it was best that Rachel attacked her father anyway because how does it look when we're just now coming into your house and we're attacking you for something that is totally not our business? I think that looks whack, and I'm so happy that um, I did not go down that route. And I don't even think that should have been an option. Like, when Chloe was talking, she should have had an option to stay quiet because that is a family business. Chloe should never have been, uh-uh, motherfucker, we saw you, da 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 No, it's not your business. Stay out of it. Not your place. But, um... You know, Rachel went off and she went ham. So that was that. And hopefully we get a preview of next episode, episode three. Why is there no audio? Okay, she said shit, shit, shit. This is so weird. I hate when there's no audio because it's not like it'll be music. You, That's all we can see? Okay, so. Okay. Episode 3, Hell is Empty, and that's the very last episode, which is stupid. It should have been five episodes, or at least four, but whatever. Guys, please like, favorite, comment down below about what you guys think about this amazing twist and how it's going to play out in episode 3, and share this video wherever you guys have to share videos at, and subscribe if you already haven't yet done so, and yeah, it's been Liddy, and stay tuned for way more videos. All right. Peace in the streets. Bye.